Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 423. I am your host, Nguyen Sanzo. And today's news, we have... Well, some news. Um, it's been a slow news week, but we'll manage, we'll manage. So let's hop right into it with our first news. So, in today's news, new Season 9 DVD announced from Asia. That's where I am. That's cool. So anyway... Uh, I'm just going to read what Seth said, and here it is. The same store that listed the Season 8 My Little Pony DVD has now... Sorry, uh, DVD now has another up for Season 7. These are apparently being created by a Malaysian company called Myth Entertainment and comes in English language and optional Chinese subtitles. You can find the page for it over here. So, yeah. Uh, this is interesting. And here's the thing about most of these stores. Ah, uh, it's 26 ringgit and 90 cents. That would be about approximately... Um, let's see. Uh, the 20, let's just go say 27. 27 divided by 4. For six dollars something, give or take, could be lower. Okay. Um. Here's here's the thing. The DVDs here they're questionable at best. They're. I'm not hundred percent sure how official this is because, um, the way that things work down here are a bit strange. Uh, a good example for this is that the animes like. Anime DVDs, usually what, um, I think they, uh, recently there's news that Persona 5, the full box set is about $400. But if you were to, um, buy it now, there's a 20% off discount. So you can buy it at $300. So that's just Persona 5, the anime. And if I'm not mistaken, probably if we were to come here over in Malaysia and some local distributor were to get a hold of it, it'll be probably cost less than that, probably 60 ringgit. And just a general idea of how much 60 ringgit is. So we'll just take 60 divided by 4 just to be kind. I mean, it could be 4.1, but let's just round it up. It'll be $15. So you can just imagine like the legality of it. But anywho, um, this one, season nine here, um, it's interesting. I have to say, um, Hasbro still haven't said anything yet. They haven't released anything. Um, let's check out the back. So usually you can tell uh, a few things from the back here. Like, um, why is that there and what is it covering? Okay, so you can get uh, some basic infos here. So it's DVD, probably some not good DVDs. Uh, it's in English and Chinese subtitles. Uh, English audio, that's good. Uh, DVDs, there's two DVD nines inside. Uh, NTSC and uh, the expect ratio is four point three. See, here's the here's the thing. Like these things, they don't really give a good info in terms of what this is like technically this is just generic and i i bet you that the subtitles for this are just trash yeah so if you guys were to buy this um buy it at your own risk i i, I personally won't recommend buying them but hey uh if you want to collect DVDs, uh, hop right down to it, I guess. Personally, it's not for me. Like, nah, man. So let's move on to the next news. And the next news is Kotobukiya Rainbow Dash delayed until August. So, um, I read this bit of self summary. Um, Kotobukiya announced on their website that the Rainbow Dash, uh, figure is going to be delayed until August. And August is not that far because what we're in, uh, July 11th when we're recording this 
and August is just a few weeks away. So I don't mind the wait. I don't mind the wait if I were to buy this one. So yeah, but in overall, uh, it's not that long, and you don't have to wait too long just to get the figure. Uh, other than that, there's nothing much to say. A, a delay is just a delay. But the figure looks nice. I mean, if I'm a Dash fan, I would probably get it. And yeah, can't say much. <laughs> can't say much. So anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So anyway, um, this week has been very interesting. I've watched a movie. And said movie is Digimon... Give me a second. Yes, Digimon Adventures Last Evolution Kizuna. So, um, if you're a fan of the Digimon Adventure series, uh, part one and two, you're going to love this one. Um, this one follows the track of Digimon Adventure Try. Um, I think G- Digimon Adventure Try is technically part three of the Zero uh, Adventure series. I, I don't remember, but. Um, this movie here is awesome if you're a fan of the Digimon series and yeah uh, man like I enjoy watching this because of the whole pandemic so seating arrangements were kind of strange because uh, what they did in the theater is that they left a gap on one of the seats so if there's for example if there's uh, in one row there's four seats you can only take Two, so they leave gaps for the rest. So just sit here and here, and I pick one of the seats that are uh, for couples, and I, I technically got the whole seat to myself, which was kind of awesome. Like pop popcorns, hot dogs, and drink. Put it to the side. Nobody's gonna scold me for putting my stuff on the chair because I own the whole thing. <laughs> And yeah, a uh, movie was fun. The experience was fun. And yeah, the movie itself is awesome. Like, I, I highly recommend go watching it if you're a Digimon fan. Uh, if you're a Zero Two fan, uh, you're gonna be a bit disappointed because they're not the highlight of this movie. Um, the movie revolves around Ty and TK. So, yeah. It's a, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. So, if you're a fan, you should go watch. I know Silver is, so I might recommend him and go check it out. Yeah, so, anyway, um, let's, <laughs> let's wrap it up because uh, there's nothing much to add. I'm sorry, folks. So, anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe to videos on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash MBS show. If you have your support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Tristan, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya!